handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Saturday. It is the 25th of November 2023. Going to look at the ninth race from the Big A, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the ninth race, which is the Comely Stakes. It's a great three event going for a purse of $200,000 race for Phillies three-year-olds here. We have a field of eight horses taking a stroll around the Aqueduct main track, which is 1,800 meters in circumference, or the mile and the eighth here in the Comely. I'm going to go with the four horse, just Catherine, as a top selection. Let's go 4872 in the Superfecta. 4872 Super, top selection, four horse, just Catherine. This uh, three year old field by Justify here. Uh, Jose Jimenez trains. Trevor McCarthy gets the mount. The horse's most recent appearance came in the Grade 1 Cotillion at Parks on a very sloppy going, a mile 16th on the 23rd of September, and he finished 7 by 19 and a half lengths that day. I don't think this horse liked the, the off track. He never really got going, was very wide, and she just wasn't keeping up. Down in class here today, you know, the, the Cotillion's one of the premier races, I think, for three row Phillies. Coming here today back to Aqueduct, lesser quality horses, hopefully getting a, a better trip to the front end. I think this horse is in a better spot to win, and I think he could get the winning check. Two back in option 50 at Saratoga, mile on the 8th on the 4th of September. She won by one three quarter lengths, and she got the job done easily that day. She stalked all the way around the race course. She was a little bit wide, but when she had the turn of foot, she took off clear. A very good strong run with a 92 buyer, and then the Wilton opening weekend at Saratoga over the Wilson Mile there on the 14th of July. She finished second by one half lengths. The winner took off clear. This horse, you know, placed behind her, didn't get out of the gate so clearly with the quirkiness of the going. She was basically last for the first few strides, uh, for the first uh, half furlong or two furlong of the race, which uh, she wasn't so comfortable there. But when she swung out wide late, that's when she really took off clear. That was a, a, a good race after all said done. Swung out wide late. Um, and then prior to that, in, in mid May at uh, mid June at Belmont, a mile 16th on the mud and optional 50, facing older horses. She finished third by four and a quarter lengths. Sunset Louise was a decent horse, really ran terrifically that day. Sacred Witch, who finished second, ran terrifically. This horse is wide, but she got around the race course well at 25 to 1. Something I've noticed is past Belmont meeting, right after Belmont stakes until basically, you know, after Belmont stakes until the closing of Belmont, um, you saw some very good racing on like these Thursday and Friday afternoon. I believe that was a Friday afternoon, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, you know, it's just you, you, a lot of these horses that are coming out of these lounge races at Belmont are, are running these incredible runs. Uh, so I think, you know, the, the meat of the year, I think, uh, which a lot of people will look over, um, the meat of the year in New York, I think, is that Belmont spring meeting because you, you just see a lot of good horses is coming out of those races and running good races after all said and done um so uh, you know just just keeping an eye on those uh the, those belmont spring races but this horse she ran terrifically against those old horses there uh incredible improvement off the race porch was a goldstrom park oaks where she didn't do a lot of running she finished eighth by four and a quarter lengths that day and she absolutely had nothing but training well since the last run coming here she could definitely win i think the eight horse raging sea could win the stereo for the by curlin chad brown trains manny franco gets him out most recent lounge race for a hundred thousand at keelan on the slap over the mile and eighth she won by three and a quarter lengths that day. She was a little bit wide throughout, but when she had the turn of foot, she really took off clear. That was a, there was a very good run after all of a sudden done. Come back with a 91 career best buyer. Prior to that, that 4th of September race that uh, just Catherine came out of at Saratoga over the nine furlong, she actually placed behind her where she didn't get the best beginning. She had to lead. Just cast Catherine caught her from the behind that day, but she, she ran her hard out there. And then off the bench and over the Wilson Mile and option 50 at Saratoga, she finished fourth by one three quarter lengths that day. And she got caught in the lane. She just needed the race there off the bench. But coming here off some decent runs, definitely been improving as the season goes on. She could definitely get the winning track. And it wouldn't surprise me. I would use her in the late pick four. But to recount my selection for the ninth now from Aqueduct, it is the commonly going to take the four horse just Catherine. Give kudos to the eight horse Raging Sea. 4872 Super, 48 in our multi-race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.